What's up guys? Welcome to your second Express video. Well, last time we talked, we've set, you know, multiple routes. Uh, we also set some route with app that get and different things. We also talk about how to configure Express to start a very basic Express uh, server and configure it with different route. But back to our GitHub things, GitHub is not sending text like we were sending. GitHub is actually sending some HTML and including some styles and different things and going on so far. Uh, now, let's kind of go ahead and do this, right? We're going to create an HTML files. We're going to call this one index HTMLs. And we're going to set a few things. We're going to start very simple, basic application. We're going to have an H2, the is an Express app. And we're also going to set some P. I'm super, ex I'm super exciting to be uh, creating an express an express app and we're going to set up some ui and we're going to set all right good here i have three of them we said like mango and we're going to do like uh, testing something very basic and we're going to up uh, mango let's put something like orange oh god knows and uh, pineapples and different things and we can set something like a footer or something very basic I am uh, mr. footer right now we're going to set we're going to also do some uh, CSS into it or we're gonna create a style CSS something called style that CSS uh, we're gonna do something like this and we're gonna create that CSS we're going to do something like this, and we can do the body, background, color. Uh, we're going to, oops. Uh, we're going to do body, background. Uh, we're going to do background. Uh, background, probably, we're going to do something like green. And we also going to make sure we got uh, HTML and body just with 100% uh, and a height of 100%. Now, of course, let's check this out. Let's open this in the browser. Gonna open this here. Give me one quick second. I got it over here. That's my HTML, double click. And I have something very basic, like super basic, right? Remember, this is something located into our local computer. But what we really want is we want this to be on the server. Like when we do, when we do up, oh, when we do node server, oops, oh, uh, where am I? Uh, yeah, it's okay. So I need to do npm install express because I deleted express. Sorry, guys. Let's install express. Uh, give it one second. All right. So what we really need to do when we do node server, we want when we do local host, just like we were doing earlier, like when we do local host, instead of seeing those tags, we need to actually see some HTMLs, like something like this, something that looks like this. This is the goal, okay? And we can set as many other things as we want, but the goal behind it is we want to be able to see something like this. It's just like GitHub is showing something very nice, right? Let's actually do this into our server. I'm gonna close the HTML, I'm gonna close the CSS, and uh, one last thing, we also might need some JavaScript. Let's actually do something like this, and for JavaScript, gonna do app.js and that should be it and we're gonna create a file called app.js and inside the app.js we're only going to console log something like um, hello world I am finally here and let's test this to make sure it works if I inspect this here uh, inspect go to console refresh the browser I see something like hello world but remember all of this it's still under, uh, uh, it's still under our computer. It's still under the relative path, but we want it to be in our server. Like when we send this, instead of sending text, we want to send an actual HTML files. All right, let's kind of go ahead and get this done once again. Delete the app. I'm not deleting, closing them, and let's get back into our server. Let's use router. And uh, all right, to do this, you're going to need. A node module called path it's a built-in module you don't need to download anything its name is path what this is going to do for you is it's going to help you with the relative path and this is going to be compatible with 
Windows path or Mac path. So you don't need to worry about either if you're on Windows or if you're on Mac, this is going to take care of everything for it. Now, our HTML files is in the same root, it's in the same root, AKA it's in the same root. Now to do this, I'm gonna say on the home page, I want them to see, I'm gonna delete this again, and remember the second parameter, so oops, I think I should not delete, okay, there you go, response, and to send a files, remember what we are sending is just an HTML files. To do this, we use another feature, another method called send files. So far we've covered JSON, now we are covering send files. This is taking the related path of the files. For example, you can do something like this, like slash index HTML, but if you own a Windows, the path might be different. I believe the path on Windows is something like backslash, but we want it to be compatible, and this is what this package is going to help us to do. So to use it, we're going to use a method from this package called uh, join, which is going to join, put into a string for us, uh, and we're going to say, okay, uh, go into the current directory. This is current directory, aka we are in a directory called YouTube. This is saying, okay, go inside the current directory, which is YouTube, and then inside that, locate a files named index.html, which is this one. This is index.html. So this is how we send a files. If we start a server, we run it again. Let's go to the index, refresh this. We should see the HTMLs. Now let's kind of go back and see if we actually see it the way it is, right? Boom, this is what we saw. No CSS. But let's see if we have any JavaScript. No JavaScript, but in the in the static one, which is the one that's referring to our path, we had some CSS. We also had some some JavaScript. But the question is, where are these on the server? Like, where did they go? Now let me kind of break this down for you. One thing to mention is static files, HTMLs, JavaScript. CSS and etc. are considered as static files, aka they are files that needs to be on the server and send them as well. Right now they are not on the server, which is our server is 8080. The only file that is on, on our server right now is a files named index.html. That's the only files that is on our server because we are sending it through our server. So if we want to, to use the JavaScript too, we need to send it to our server. So we can do something like this. We can do app.get, and we can say, we're gonna send this one to the JavaScript one. We're gonna do JavaScript and do another route. And we're gonna do something like this. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get the second parameter, which is rest. We're going to do rest send files. We're going to send that files into our server. And we're going to use path that join again to turn it into, into a string. We're going to say grab the query directory and then send, send the app.js files. Now, when we go to JavaScript, we should see these files. And, uh, and uh, let's refresh the browser again. Let's go to JavaScript. Let's see what we got. All right, you see, we got the console log. So what we can do, because we are sending these files over that route, then we can link in our HTML files, the, the, we can link it to the JavaScript in order to get that JavaScript inside of it. So we do JavaScript here in order to get this whatever is coming. It's a little bit complicated, but the bottom line is they need to be on our server on a route, and then we need to refer them to the path they are on. Now, the JavaScript files is on a path called JavaScript. In order to use it, we do the slash JavaScript, something like this. 
And to use the CSS, think about it would be the same way. We can do something like CSS and uh, we do something like this. Rest and we can just copy and paste this. And, and then this time this is going to be style.css. And let's stop this out and let's refresh it again. So if we go now inside CSS, we are sending the CSS. Oops, hold on. Uh, what path is it? Oh, I forgot the slash. You see that? I forgot the slash. Refresh it again. Let's load this. Oops. Oh, I think oh, it did not load right. Let's see. Oops. Uh, I think I misspelled the route. It's actually style that C. Oh, it's not JS. It's CSS. CSS. There you go. Something like this. Thank you, sir. All right. Refresh it again. All right, and then you see, that's our HTML. Now we can, inside our HTML, we could grab that path right here. We could do slash, start a slash CSS because that's the route it's on, slash CSS, and then we can get access to it. Let's see what we got. And if we go to home page, we should see something similar. This is our CSS. This is our thing, it looks just similar. So the bottom line is guys, what I really want you to take away from this is any files that you are sending that is on your local computer needs to be sent on a server. Like it needs to be sent on a server. Now, this is not best practice and you should not do this. Like should not do this. This is not, not best practice. Because think about it, if you had like 100 CSS files, you would be creating a route for every single one of them and so on and so on. You don't want this. What you really want to do is express make it very easy. You put all your static, remember, all your static files into a folder called public. Now, the folder can be anything. For the sake of this, we're going to name this public. We're going to send the HTML file. Oh, that's We're going to move this. We're also going to move the app.js. We're also going to move the CSS. And boom. So, aka, we move every single static files like HTML, JavaScript, CSS, etc., inside a folder called public. And what we do with Express is we do app.use to make it easy. We do app.use express that static. We use a method built by Express called static and we send the public folder like we send everything that's inside the public folder and because we send some everything that's inside the public folder including the app.js index and style that css and now we can delete this and we only send the index html route and now we're going to link it the way we're going to link it now they're being sent over the same folder we can link it, you know, just the same path. We could do style.css and we can do something like app.js, which is they're in the same road and we send in that folder so we get access to both of them. And we can just do something like this and let's stop this, refresh, and let's see if this works. And boom, it works. Now check this out. If I did not have that static folder and I refresh the broad and I surf my server, refresh it again. I don't have it. So the bottom line is for best practices, always put your all your static files into a folder called called public. It could be anything, it could be name anything, your folder could be anything. And just use Express built-in feature called Express that static and send that files. And now you can refer to them on the same path, something like this. All right, guys. So this is everything I had for you. Now, one thing you've been mentioning. Remember, if you remember the last the last session we've done was we've talked about route, but we talk about different ways of doing route, like app that get router that get. But what about app that post? What about router that post? Well, we're going to cover this in the next video. Stay tuned. And if you guys like this, 
please thumbs up if you guys don't like it too don't hesitate to hit the dislike button if you guys want to see more of this video please leave some comments below of what type of video you'd like to see and if you guys want to stay up to date with everything that i do please hit the subscribe button